Oh. Oh, oh. oh. Okay. Uh, we're continuing from last Sunday where I'm introducing uh, the Bellstone and the relation of the Celts to the Navajos, or the Navajo and the Celts are one and the same in this country. And we've just passed uh, a couple days ago the winter solstice, and this is about December's child. And then to mention the uh, famous celebration called Christmas on uh, December 25th is originally the winter solstice. And the winter solstice continued with England and is fledging England, America um, to, to be, and when Christmas was on the winter solstice until uh, real late in the 18th into the 19th century, actually. So they did hold out for quite a while. However, we still do have people who recognize the winter solstice as the birth of light, or in this case, the child born of water. And the, this is going to be like a myth. And I'm going to start off by reading this in an introduction way. The people of, of this myth are the people that Americans call Navajos and then also the Americans call Apache. Actually, they're the Dene and the Apache people. In the beginning, when no human beings were yet living, the floods subsided and the clouds drew mountains up out of the water. Birds and animals moved into the mountains to find places to live. Child of the water, Dobat Tsitsini, a supernatural being, stood there in a certain place, called a dark cloud to take form above him, and declared that he was now going back to the sky. The cloud encircled him, and when it disappeared, child of water was gone. In his place were two people. One of them was called Changing Woman, and the other, suddenly reappearing, was child of the water himself. From these two, the people of the Apache have sprung. Oh. That, oh. <laughs> oh. That, that's a very good introduction. Yeah. That, and just to say that the people we're calling here the Navajo and the Apache, they are two different people, but where their ancestors come from over there in, in western Turkestan, uh, they're kind of related. They have a related language, and here they've come together and have exchanged you know, these myths or stories, so they're very similar. Uh, changing woman in Navajo, literally, woman who changes. And in the Apache, then Asanedehe, meaning uh, paint, white painted woman, or literally, woman who's painted. Now, that's a, a kind of the difference here, and how that, how that this takes place. To show my illustration here, my painting, I've replicated here the ceremonial personator's helmet masks here of child born of the water. And uh, originally, I mean in the old days, they used a kind of a, a seaweed or, or a Spanish moss for the hair. Now they do use a horse hair like that. So I kind of gave it that impression. And that also the birth of, of, cha of, of uh, child of water comes from the sun sending down a ray of light into the water and made this white stone, and it's from this white stone the child of water is born in that lake that was on top of the sky reaching rock that overflowed and down into like a pool of water where coyote wades in and lifts him up, you know, now uh, born from the water. So that's the symbolism of this. Last week I showed that with the Celtic bellstone, this symbol that we would say is like an X, and what that meant in the Celtic world, and how that the Navajos have taken that in to this figure with this. This is actually it's the symbol of child of water. It's a hair tie or hair cord for for uh, the woman who wears her hair like in a knot 
on the on the back, and so that's the, that's what that symbolizes. And the symbols are you see them on rocks and things over there in Arizona. So very interestingly, here I put the turkey feather because the turkey feather is used uh, to call rain there. And even here I, I use the white rock uh, to, to have that in kind. <clears throat> and here, this uh, photo that I've taken here, so that the woman, you can see that she is, her face is painted in a ceremonial. She's holding the uh, corn, ear of corn, and she's holding a, a, a cluster of spruce leaves. And spruce cho is the symbol of a um, changing woman. And she is born on Chouli Peak in New Mexico, or Spruce Hill. And that her head piece, hair piece there is made of the um, kestrel feathers. The kestrel feathers, the kestrel, American kestrel, um, in the southwest is the equal to Horus in Egypt. Um, that one seems to have been borrowed from the other. So it's very, very um, important in the southwest there, and that this is a kestrel feather, actually. And so she would be called Red Warrior Girl. Mm -hmm. All her attributes there mm -hmm. is to say that. And the um, Coyote Way, this is from the Coyote Way Chant Way, Eighth Morning Ceremonial, actually. Mm -hmm. All is happiness, all is well, hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh. With children of coyote, all is happiness, all is well, hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh. With white bead, all is happiness, all is well, hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh. With coyote's prayer stick, all is happiness, all is well, hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh. With black cloud, all is happiness, all is well, hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh. With lightning flash, all is happiness, all is well, hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh. With white bee girl, all is happiness, all is well, hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh. With roots of dawn, all is happiness, all is well, hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh. With these he went, hey, hey, uh. Over the mountain he went, hey, hey, uh. With happiness he returned, hey, hey, uh. Now, all is happiness and all is well, hey, hey, uh, hey, hey. Uh. Now, the children of Coyote, all is happiness and all is well, hey, hey, uh. And now the children of turquoise, all is happiness and all is well, hey, hey, uh. And now with coyote's prayer stick, all is happiness and all is well, hey, hey, uh. And now with holy medicine, all is happiness and all is well, hey, hey, uh. And now with all growing plants, all is happiness and all is well, hey, hey, uh. And now with the rain behind me, all is happiness and all is well, hey, hey, uh. Hey, hey, uh. And with strings of turquoise, all is happiness, all is well, hey, hey, uh. And now with the roots of sunshine touching our mind, all is happiness, all is well, hey, hey, uh. With sunshine touching all that lives, all is happiness, all is well, hey, hey, uh. And now all the children of Coyote, all is happiness, all is well, hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh, hey, hey, uh. <laughs>